This giant eye spaceship descending on Earth will teach you about the external abnormalities of the eye. It starts with strabismus, the tiny cross-eyed strawberry mouse. It's a dysfunction of the extraocular muscles, resulting in a person's eyes being fixed in a position counter to their natural gaze. Next are eyelid abnormalities, beginning with exothalamus, the forward displacement or protrusion of the eyeball, often seen in patients with an underlying thyroid disorder. The forward displacement or protrusion of the eyeball, often seen in patients with an underlying thyroid disorder. Recall this by the extruding eyes. Ptosis, the toast eyes, is characterized by a drooping upper eyelid and correlates to the neuromuscular weakness of cranial nerve 3. Another eyelid abnormality is ectropion, a loose, lagging lower eyelid associated with the loosening of connective tissue and weakening of associated ocular muscles. Think of this as an egg drooping eye. Yum! This exposure of the palpebral conjunctiva increases the risk for additional inflammation and or trauma. The final eyelid abnormality is entropion, the eyelid in eye. It is also associated with increased tissue laxity and weakening of the periocular eyelid musculature. Entropion is when the lower eyelid inverts and the friction between the cornea and the inverted eyelashes increase risk for corneal damage. Eyelid lesions include blepharitis, pictured as the blue pharaoh on fire which is inflammation of the eyelids caused by a staphylococcal infection or seboric dermatitis. The Don't Cry Kid on Fire represents dacryocystitis, which is inflammation of the lacrimal sinus sac, resulting in blockage of the nasolacrimal duct and localized infection. Another eyelid lesion includes hordeolum, also known as a sty. So think of it like a pigsty, and the pig has a horde of goodies. This condition is attributed to an infectious and transmissible staphylococcal infection of the hair follicles. The final eyelid lesion discussed is a calasian, the calzone, a painless nodule presenting on the eyelid formed by underlying inflammation of the meibomian glands. Pupil abnormalities include anisocoria, unequal pupil size resulting from a benign cause or with attribution to certain central nervous system diseases. David Bowie, known as the star man, is famously known to have this condition, so think of anisocoria as the anis star man. Mydriasis, the meter eyes, are dilated and fixed pupils associated with sympathetic nervous system stimulation, such as the use of dilatory eye drops or CNS damage. The mice eyes represent meiosis, which is constricted and fixed pupils associated with opiate use or damage to the brain at the level of the pons. The final category discussed for this pygmonic is the abnormalities of the cornea and iris, starting with a pterygium, aka surfer's eye. Pterygiums are membranous, triangular, and opaque wings covering the bulbar conjunctiva with possible overgrowth onto the cornea. Next is a hyphema, or the collection of blood in the anterior chamber of the eye from trauma, a herpes zoster infection, or spontaneous hemorrhage. Finally, there's a hypopion, or hippopus, which is the collection of white blood cells in the anterior chamber associated with infection and or inflammation of the anterior chamber. In summary, external eye assessment abnormalities include strabismus, a condition associated with extraocular muscle dysfunction. Eyelid abnormalities include exothalamus, ptosis, ectropion, and entropion. Eyelid lesions include infectious conditions like blepharitis, dacryocystitis, and hordeolum, as well as the non-infectious calasian. Pupillary abnormalities include anisocoria, mydriasis, and meiosis. Finally, there are abnormalities of the cornea and iris, and these include pterygium, hyphema, and hypopion. A scared little mouse shouted as he hid away in a strawberry. The mere sight of the eye made him cross-eyed. He was sitting under a table at an outdoor cafe when the eye first approached. The fellow at the table saw the hovering craft and his eyes extruded out of his head. In shock, he dropped his toast. Aw, man. The toast with eyes fell right into a sunny side up egg which then squirted right into the eye of his date. Ew! I got an egg in my drooping eye. Wait, what is that? She proclaimed as her other eyelid snapped into her eye in horror. At the adjacent side, the eye saucer took aim and shot fire at a nearby blue pharaoh statue. This really upset the kid that owns the statue, and he tried not to cry as the flames engulfed him as well. He used the statue to keep birds from landing in his pigsty, where he hides his hoard. 
In one last-ditch effort, the kid tosses a calzone at the foreign entity. That's when someone, or some thing, exited out of the pupil of the eye UFO. It was the Anise Starman. This alien possessed the power to animate inanimate objects to do his bidding. He touched a meter on the side of the road, and its eyes came to life. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our Eye Disorders Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from primary angle closure glaucoma, primary open angle glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, detached retina, cataract, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.